beings indeed I am that one that you know as Jesus and of course we love it when you muck around a little bit and have some giggles it is awesome for all of you to have some fun during these challenging times uh, this is something that you can set yourself as an assignment to get yourself uh, watching something light-hearted our dear one does it sometimes there is a British uh, talk show host called Graham Norton and there will be times if she's feeling a little bit blue if she's tired or if she doesn't want to learn anything or do anything constructive, she will watch a few episodes of Graham Norton, who is very funny as far as she is concerned. So that is a perfectly fine way to entertain yourselves, to lighten the load, so to speak, if you find yourself getting dragged down by life. But of course, if you're following our instructions, you should not be getting dragged down by life in any significant way because we have given you the recipe for staying happy and healthy, even when the world is going crazy. So the thing we want to remind you of at this time is that this is the ego's playground and the world has always had wars and plagues and taxation and all of that kind of stuff, because it is the low, lower frequencies of 3D that you are experiencing in this time and place. Now, as the elevation of your frequencies continues, you have the option to leave those lower frequencies behind. And of course, that's what we're coaching you towards. We're coaching you towards leaving those lower frequencies behind and the powers that be are coaching you towards going lower and lower and lower in the 3D realm, uh, uh, going down into the, into the really low realms of war and death and sickness. So we want, we want to encourage all of you to keep away from that mass media. Now, we understand in your society that you are trained to keep on top of things, that if you watch the news, you are deemed to be educated and well-informed. As you know, that that is, uh, as you know now, that is not true. So we, we want you to really change that uh, way of looking at the world. Now, if you have any large decisions to make, Obviously, if you have to book a plane ticket or if you have to uh, track across a border or go to some other part of the world, then you are going to want to know what is happening there. And that is fine. That is fine. That is fine. It's fine to do research when it is necessary. It is time to have a schedule when it is necessary. These, uh, uh, these principles that we bring forth and that the Course in Miracles brings forth are for your sort of everyday mundane life, so to speak. But as you understand it, once you start to get tuned into spirit, once you start to get tuned into your creativity, once you start to get tuned into your community, uh, each day has a tremendous amount of information and potential experience for you. And this is the thing that we'd like to encourage you to do at this time is to step away from your devices as much as possible. Uh, we are repeating ourselves, we understand, but the call to these devices is getting increasingly strong. Uh, the society is pushing you towards doing everything on your phone or your computer. We want you to begin to envision a lifestyle where those things are incidental. Now, we understand that some of you who have online businesses have to uh, spend your time on the computer, but we would encourage you very, very strongly to make sure that for several hours a day, you turn it off, that you aren't there for your entertainment. All of this consuming images through screens uh, is very, very detrimental because every single being that has a screen message, including us, has an agenda. We have an agenda for you when we put out this information. And this information is our agenda is to raise your frequency. <clears throat> and you know it's that because you've been watching it for years and you can go back and look at old videos and the message is the same. So you understand that our agenda is a loving agenda, but uh, there are a lot of uh, beings who are pumping information through screens, through music, through, media, me through movies and through videos that do not have your best interests at heart. So we want you to be... Be increasingly careful about what you are watching. Now, those of you that have been doing the course for some time, you have dealt with this problem. However, when you get a, a, a global war story that's happening, it's very, very easy to get sucked into it. And this is why they are amping up what's going on. 
because they have to get as many people as possible into the lower frequencies to be able to bring in what they want to bring in, which is this increasing control and increasing, uh, increasing medical intervention. So what the beings in charge understand is that if you are of a higher frequency, their message cannot reach you. So this is why we want you to double down on what you are being, uh, double down on being very conscious of what you are consuming in all ways, because this is the purpose of lowering your frequency so that lower frequency messaging can access you. Uh, that, that if you're feeling down, you'll, you'll turn on the news or to, you'll, you won't turn something off, let's say if it's in your room or somebody else is listening to it, because it's a match for you. So remember, if it's a match for you, it can make its way into your world. So this is really about creating a spiritual immunity to the plan that those shadow workers have for you as light workers. Light workers are the more powerful in that sense because light is more powerful than shadow. There is no shadow switch. The powers that be are relying on you to turn your light down. That's what they're counting on. They're relying on you to voluntarily tune into a negative story and turn your light down using your free will. So when we say be more careful about what you're watching, we would like all of you today to review what it is you're watching. So our dear one, for example, has been watching uh, painting competitions because she loves to watch people paint. She loves uh, the conversation. She loves the inspiration that it gives her. And if it's a dark and dull rainy day and she's got a little bit of time, that is the kind of thing that she's watching. So we'd like all of you to review whether or not you're giving yourselves enough breaks from your computer and phone, if you are uh, on it for business purposes. So making sure that you have sufficient time off those uh, um, screens. And for those of you that are not having a business online and do not have to actually be on screens at all, we would like you to really assess how much time you are spending uh, taking information in through that way. In the old days, people used to build wooden coffee tables. They used to have some chickens in the back and get uh, and have to go out and feed the chickens. They used to have all kinds of activities that were real in, in real time, in the weather, outside or inside. There used to be a thing called a quilting bee where women used to get together and they would sit around and make beautiful quilts together. And they would talk and tell stories and share recipes. It was a real experience with no agenda other than community and creativity. This is a time now for those of you that have stepped away from the lower frequencies of this society. And now it is time to begin to entertain the idea that there are some old ways that need to be revived. So this can be some of the things that you do for entertainment. You can watch some, uh, we'd say, prepper shows. Now, we're not suggesting that you get into heavily prepping for the end of the world. That really is a fear-driven thing. But you can indeed understand that it is uh, inflation is hitting all of your pocketbooks and that if you buy a can of tomatoes today, it's going to be cheaper than if you buy a can of tomatoes in six months. So some of you who've got some extra cash around, we would suggest that you do that, that you do a couple of big shops if you don't have a good supply of uh, food and understand that you are in fact saving money. The other thing we'd like you to do is to make some effort to spend time with people in your community in some way, shape or form. It could be that you have a, a neighbor or a friend that you particularly like and you never really get together because you're so busy doing this and that but to actually make time to uh, have a lunch date with them or get together and do some creative project, begin to remember what it was like before technology, because technology really is removing you more and more and more from skills and abilities that you are going to really value in the future. Not only that, but these skills and abilities, whether it be gardening or creativity in some form or learning how to fix something or build something, these are deeply satisfying creative acts. 
And most people in your society have been losing these things ge over generations and the entertainment industry has taken over. The entertainment is where you go now. Someone else is going to entertain me rather than, oh, I'm going to go into my workshop and work on that thing that I've been working on, or I'm going to go into my uh, craft studio and I'm going to work on some things in there. We would like you to begin now to really once again re-emphasize these non-technology focused uh, aspects. Now, if you have to watch a YouTube video to build the coffee table or you're following a creativity video and that's what you're working from, that's a different story. You're using the internet for what it is very, very good at, which is teaching you. So we would like to throw that out into your field of uh, awareness and ask all of you to shift and change your schedules a little bit in the direction of the analog world, the physical world, the real world, and away from the screen world. That is our challenge for you today, to shift and change that just a little bit more, just a little bit uh, further into uh, developing these uh, expressions of your own inner world. This is what extension is. This is loving something. If you love flowers, for example, starting some seeds in your uh, kitchen on the, on the kitchen counter. If you've got a greenhouse going out there and going, okay, well, I'm going to, I love flowers. So instead of just going to the store and buying them, I am in fact going to plant some sunflowers for later on in the year and getting into the dirt and getting into the choice of seeds and the putting it all together and the care of them. Uh, when we look at many of your energy systems, what we see is our very simplistic answers to things. Oh, if I can buy something at the shop for the same price, why would I bother growing it? Well, it's the dirt, it's the worms, it's the hummingbird that's going to come and hover in front of you because it thinks you're a flower. It's the communion, it's the sitting under the shade of the tree after you've been hot and sweaty in the garden and realizing that you haven't done that for years. These are some of the more elaborate feeling experiences that we want you to start to treasure as part of your being a natural human. The agenda is to take you away from being a natural human towards being um, a, a more uh, socially constructed human. And that is why people are getting unhappier and unhappier and unhappier and more and more confused and more easily manipulated. Because when you sit under a tree in the shade on a sunny day, uh, social media has no control over you. It is nature that is uh, uh, washing over you. It is the beauty of the spring flowers. It is the damp spot under your bottom that is getting your attention. And that is where the calm and gentle recalibration of your physical form is going to be taking place. So we're working on your minds, but when you engage in these physical activities, such as gardening or painting or a carpentry or cooking or looking after the chickens, you are getting a natural upgrade from the environment that is always getting a natural upgrade. Those of you sitting in houses all the time on, on computers all the time are lacking in those. And that's the way to look at this. Not, oh, Jesus wants me to stop this for no particular reason. It is, oh, I've got to go outside to get my upgrade. I've got to sit down on the earth to get Gaia communicating with me and giving her information as well. So this is the way we would like you to look at it, to try and bring some more balance into your day a variety of activities, a variety of interests, a variety of interactions. And what you will find is that you will feel more joyful, you will feel less oppressed, and you will be much less fearful about the future. Because when you look at nature, what you understand is that nature is there all the time. Uh, for example, in an experience like the Great Depression, this was a man-made experience. Nature Yes, there was a dust bowl and that was man-made by the farming practices of the time, but the suicides and the starvation and the, and the desperation of that time was created by the structure that was laid over nature. So cultivate nature wherever you can, hang out with her whenever you can and understand that before 
this crisis, during this crisis, and after this crisis, nature is there doing her thing, uh, abundant in her ability to provide you with food, stick a seed in the ground. She doesn't care if there's a war in the Ukraine. She doesn't care if there's a COVID crisis. Put a sunflower seed in the soil and nature will do her work. And if you're focusing on that kind of thing, then you are going to see that you do not need to be afraid that the most powerful creative force not only lives in you, but lives in nature as well. And so that is why we are making this suggestion. Hmm.